Hi everybody, this is Matt. Thanks for watching and welcome back. One viewer out there had a question regarding a video that I did where I recommended having a crush grip in order to help eliminate flinch. And the comment was is that, you know, they had heard from somebody else that if you had a crush grip that your trigger finger would be impeded and that it wouldn't work right. Well, first and foremost, let me tell you that from a, a standpoint of being in law enforcement, if you're in a dynamic, stressful situation where you have somebody that is shooting at you or you're looking down the barrel of the gun, you are not going to be going, okay, what kind of a grip should I have here? Should I have a weaver grip? Should I be holding this like a quail? Uh, no, you're gonna have a crush grip because the adrenaline is pumping and everything is lit up. All your neurons in your system are in overload because you're in a highly stressful situation. So let me show you something. Here I have a set of grippers and this is one way that you can test it and it's also a way that's helpful for you to work it out. So I can go ahead and I can crush these grippers together, but I can have my trigger finger extended and guess what? I can hold the grippers together and I can work my trigger. So conversely, I can have a crush grip on this. Now I can do too much of a crush grip where if I really bear down, I'm introducing shake into it just like that. But if you're using two hands and you're still doing it, you're not going to have that shake. You're going to overpower it. So does having the crush grip here negatively impact my ability to pull this trigger? No, it does not. So I can have a crush grip on this guy and my trigger finger is still going to be working just fine. So everybody has their technique. Everybody came from a different place. Uh, I remember in law enforcement that when we were taught that we were supposed to hold this like we were holding a baby bird or quail or something like that, which means, okay, I'm going to hold this really, really light and I'm going to come in here and then I'm going to squeeze. Well, that's fine. The gun isn't shaking, but with your recoil, it's going to go up like this. But anyway, that was just to demonstrate that you can have a crush grip on a firearm and it does not impede the trigger finger. So anyway, hope this helps. Thanks for the dialogue. I appreciate it. And until next time, everybody, hey, be safe out there and have a good one.